What's going on guys? It's Brian and in this video I'll be doing the first boot of the MSI GT780R. Now this is a very crazy gaming laptop that starts at about $1,750 bucks from MSI. But for your money you get a lot. And uh, this is basically a 17 point inch, 17.3 inch gaming laptop. And it has a Intel Core i7-2630 processor, that's Sandy Bridge. It's clocked at 2 gigahertz with a turbo speed of up to 2.9. It has one terabyte of disk space. It basically has two 7200 RPM hard drives in RAID 0. The 17.3 inch um, display is actually 1080p, which is good. And it's also anti-glare. So I did not know that this was an anti-glare display. I thought it was glossy like from on the GT 680R, but a lot of people probably complain because glossy displays, especially for gaming and stuff, is just horrible. But we do have a glossy display. We also have a 720p webcam at the top of the display. This also comes with 16 gigs of RAM, which is, to me, it's overkill, but I guess it'll help you uh, future-proof your computer. That's actually the max that you could put in here as well. And finally, the video card is a GTX 560M, which is a fairly good step up from the 460M that's found in the GT 680R, which is actually off to my right, because I did buy that at the end of January, and I have been loving it ever since. So basically, I'm going to be pushing the power button for the first time. I actually don't have it plugged in, nor do I have the battery installed. This is a 17 uh, 7800 milliamp hour battery so this is nine cells so it should give you some fairly decent battery life i don't believe that this has switchable graphics so you'll be using the gtx 560m the whole time not the integrated intel hd 3000 graphics that's built onto the uh sandy bridge processor for that you would need virtue or the or some other sort of chipset that supports that and oops this actually goes in this way like so so that's installed go ahead and get the power cord plug that into the back of the laptop that goes right there and let's go ahead and power it on and see what happens so immediately the backlight on the keyboard turns on right now. It's about sort of a bluish color uh, So right now on the display we see the Intel RAID utility Which is what sets up the uh, whole RAID thing with the two hard drives sort of joining together as one Basically RAID 0 is going to give you extra extra performance as compared to using just one hard drive uh, The issue with that is if one of the hard drives happen to fail then pretty much all of your data is going to be gone so you are sort of screwed in that situation but for the most part RAID 0 is gives you some extra performance so Windows 7 is preparing the computer for first use you know pretty much you know this is expected stuff just a basic Windows 7 startup um, okay so my English or <laughs> my English is language my language is English go to next I'm liking the buttons on the trackpad already. They're they're a lot more clicky. They're easier to press compared to the 680R. Throughout all of the videos on my GT 780 coverage, I will be comparing it to my GT 680R, which I've had for a long time. It's basically a 15-inch version of this laptop. It looks different. It has a different keyboard. It has a different lid. It doesn't have an anti-glare display, unfortunately. So MSI seem to have saved all of their good features for the 780R instead of the 680R, which came out at the beginning of the year. So that's my username for now. I'm going to go ahead and type in a password. No password hint. I like the keyboard a lot. On the 680R, it has sort of a, uh, I don't know, the keys just don't feel that nice. On here, the the uh, the plastic, it's smooth. It's It has sort of a more interesting sound to the key presses. So, so far, I'm liking the keyboard on the 780 quite a bit. I'll be doing some fast typing tests in some later videos. I am in the mountain time zone. It is Tuesday the 14th and it is about 6.47 p.m. So let's go to next. Windows 7 is finalizing your settings. And it should be going to the uh, 
login screen to say that we are logging in or it's preparing our desktop for the first use. Seems as though it comes with a custom MSI login screen, which is sort of cool. Let me zoom into the display to see what it looks like. Yeah, the camera's not focusing properly. But yeah, so far I'm definitely liking the keyboard. I also noticed that they put the Windows key on just the right side, where on the uh, on the 680, they put it on the left side instead. Um, to me, I would much rather have it just on the right side. And from the sound of the fan, it probably has the same fan and cooling system as with the 680R, so that's fine. And from my experience using the 680R, uh, I mean, when you're gaming, it will get fairly hot, so you're not going to want to put it on your lap. But um, for general purpose stuff like web browsing, working with Office documents, or maybe some photo or video editing, it will get sort of warm, but it's sort of it's sort of a good sort of warm, if that makes any sense. So taking a while to prepare our desktop for first use, which is okay. I'm actually going to go to Control Alt Delete and Escape, which should give us some information. Um, here we have Norton Antivirus. You really don't need antivirus for, I mean, if, if you have, if you're somebody who has to have antivirus installed on your computer, then you shouldn't even be using a, uh, using a computer because you're the kind of person who would probably get an infection anyway. So please select the stuff, the software you want to install after selecting the software. Please click on install button to begin installing. Uh, don't need the Bing bar, don't need a custom, oh, it's not letting me, uh, uncheck these things, so, well, that one unchecks, what about the first couple? So, for whatever reason, I cannot uncheck the Bing bar or the Nuance PDF reader, I am, however, able to uncheck the Magic X applications, which definitely not going to install. Fortunately, this computer isn't from you know HP or Dell, so it doesn't come with that much bloatware. It does come with some stuff, but it's not too bad. So right now, it's installing some sort of driver. Didn't read the description on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to finish. We can use some MSI stuff over here. Okay, so all of the utilities have been installed completely, so I clicked on finish, and now it's finishing the rest of the setup process. This shouldn't take more than a minute to do. Let me give you a closer look at the keyboard real quick. It's actually very nice, uh, sort of smooth plastic. You can see the backlight on the keyboard. Feels really nice to type on. Looks good as well. So here is our default desktop. Definitely a little bit different compared to the GT680 because it has some cool sort of hardcore <laughs> uh, gaming wallpapers. Uh, don't care about nuance. Let me go to the uh, Windows Experience Index to see what that's like. Oh, it didn't even rate it yet. But you are able to see that we are at 2 gigahertz. There's 16 gigs of RAM installed. What in the world is this? I don't know if you saw that, but some this star is sort of a... Not 100% not sure what that is, but I'll get to that in a later video. I guess it's sort of... Oops. I guess it's MSI's little uh, quick access. It lets you turn the touchpad on or off and those sorts of things. Eco mode, webcam, Wi-Fi. So pretty much lets you access your quick access panel, but on your desktop. Now our keyboard actually changed colors. You can see that previously it was all blue. Now it's sort of red, sort of a rainbowish color all the way across. So it looks very nice. I'll be showing you some images or some footage of the keyboard in the dark. 
Now let me go see which version of the uh, NVIDIA drivers are installed real quick. Two sixty eight twelve, sort of old, but we could always update those from NVIDIA's website. Now it automatically enabled the uh, Intel Turbo Boost Monitor application, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there for now. But right now I'm going to do a quick Windows Experience Index score, and I'll go ahead and get back to you when it is finished. All right, so the Windows Experience Index score is finished. We have a, let me go ahead and zoom in for you. Let me make the window smaller. So for the processor, we get 7.4, which is a fairly high score. For the RAM, we get 7.6. Graphics and uh, gaming graphics, we have 7.2. For the hard drive, you have 5.9, which if you're always gonna have a 7200 RPM hard drive, the max you'll ever get, even if you're in RAID, is going to be 5.9. I think if you step up to like a 10,000 RPM hard drive or a 15,000 RPM hard drive, it'll go up a little bit, but it still doesn't come close to a solid state drive. So very respectable numbers here. So these are all very good things. Uh, that's it with the video. Uh, that was just a first boot up and quick Windows Experience Index score on the MSI GT780R gaming laptop. So that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all soon.